You've probably seen the Salvation Army flag hanging somewhere in your core, but what does it mean? And where does it come from? Why does the Salvation Army need a flag at all? To get the whole story, let's go back a few thousand years. Since ancient times, flags have been used in battle to help soldiers find their friends and foes while in the midst of the fight. As time went on, flags became symbols of countries and any groups that all wanted to come together under a common symbol. When the Salvation Army started in London in the late 1800s, the small movement quickly caught on to the idea of fighting a war against sin. And if they were going to fight a war, they needed a common flag to unite under. So they went to work on a flag that would represent the Army's mission and remind us what we're fighting for. The flag's parts all have specific meanings. Red represents the blood of Christ, which gives us salvation. Yellow represents the fire of the Holy Spirit, which purifies us as believers. Blue represents the holiness we seek through the blood and the fire. The Salvation Army's motto, blood and fire, appears on the star to make sure we never forget where our holiness comes from. And by bringing these parts together to illustrate our salvation, the Army's flag is a standard that we can unite under as we take the Salvation Army's mission of spreading the gospel to the world. The Salvation Army, an international movement, is an evangelical part of the Universal Christian Church. Its message is based on the Bible. Its ministry is motivated by the love of God. Its mission is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and to meet human needs in His name without discrimination. 